Now I know what we're all thinking. And yes, you can finally become a cat girl. Everybody's thought about it. Nobody, the only people that don't, don't want it, don't know that they don't want it because they've never watched anime. You know, they're like over 60 or something. But no. <laughs> Here, it is finally possible. You and your childhood friends can meet in a bar or a cafe or uh, here in the middle of this Hao Miyazaki city and change your form to be a cat girl. But it's it's weird. You know, you can't really convey it through a video. Now I'm getting actually sentimental. But now you can't really convey it through a video, but there really is something <laughs> to be said about experiencing these things in a virtual environment, like with enough equipment. You, you can see if you pan, pan, pan down a little bit, you can see uh, it's, not, it's not perfect. Look, my shoes disappeared. But they're there, they're under the surface, you know. It's, um, but my point is, uh, when you actually get in the in the space and interact with people and have these strange human moments, you realize that there's a bell curve. It begins with human on human communication and contact, and then you have the, like the invention of the telephone. And the curve goes up, and then we just had our peak curve where we've got like internet access and everything, but the, the space is transitioning back to human interaction and the simplicities of that. And it's an interesting curve to witness. So now we're coming back down into the human elements. It's just a thought. I know there's no joke here. I was I was talking about cat girls, wasn't I? Hey, hey, wait, no. We gotta we gotta complete this. But which one do I choose? <laughs> Avatar change. Okay. I can feel it. That coming in the air tonight. Did it work? <gasps> oh! Finally! <laughs> Why do I feel the same?